at this point in time if there's one thing i'm sure of is that Shigadi Gashagwa is going to be impeached speaker wetangula has hinted at it the majority leader a bunch of mps including those from lima kenya and senators alike but the other thing that i'm sure of is that the judiciary will overturn the impeachment of dp rigadi gashagwa you know there's a verse in the bible and uh I'm, i'm paraphrasing here i can't remember word for word but it goes along this line the plans of a man are many but it is the lord's will that prevails now in kenya the plans of the executive and legislature are many but it is the plans of the judiciary <laughs> that prevails here's why i say this we had an opposition leader and a president coming together and drafting what they call the bbi building bridges initiative and they took it around the country corner to corner to corner marketing it MCAs were given 2 million and a car grant MPs were also bribed it passed all the various county assemblies it passed in the national assembly when it was supposed to be signed into law it was declared unconstitutional by a 3 4 judge panel so now you wonder what kind of power does the judiciary have you come to realize that all the MCAs and the various county assemblies with their speakers combined with the national assembly and the senate plus the president and the deputy president can be overturned by a single judge or a judge panel for that matter again they went and brought the housing levy housing levy was declared unconstitutional and illegal they went and brought shif under susan humicha it was declared unconstitutional also then we move on to governor kawira mwangaza people think she was impeached uh, three times it is four actually the first time she got impeached by the meru county assembly it never even got to the senate it was stopped by the high court The second one she was rescued, the third one she was rescued, the fourth one she was impeached at the Senate. But again, she got a court order from High Court overturning that impeachment until now she is in office. Now ask yourself, if just a mere governor who nobody likes or supports in Meru amongst the leadership that is can get a court order twice to overturn her impeachment. You want to tell me at whole deputy president with that big budget in that office with all the connections and intelligence cannot get a court order overturning Rigadi's impeachment. Those who watched uh, Rigadi's uh, interview on Citizen yesterday, at no point was this man looking worried. At no point was this man looking bothered like somebody who is about to be fired. He was okay. That kind of confidence is the same kind of confidence we saw with Dipiruto when he said he BBI hendi mahali. They knew what was coming from the courts. And it is the same kind of confidence I'm seeing with Rigadi Gashagwa. Now, long story short, This impeachment of Gashagwa is going to create a monster. There are people who don't see it, but they are creating a monster in politics. Anytime you fight somebody, they gain traction. They gain a lot of traction. DP Ruto transitioned to President Ruto because of the oppression from Uhuru Kenyatta. Without that oppression, there would be no sympathy votes. People would have preferred Raila Odinga. Again, Rigathi Gashagwa is being oppressed, and by the end of this impeachment trial, his popularity ranking will have gone higher and the respect people will have for him will have gone higher because he has been fought by the national assembly the senate and he has defeated them through the judiciary some things are not worth it if you don't like somebody i always say the best thing is ignore them just ignore them especially if you are higher than them or if you wield more power than them if you engage a nobody you are deferring relevance to them so this impeachment uh, let's just watch i've seen how this country operates it will be tabled in the national assembly they will debate they will probably uh, bring forth witnesses documents and what not i'm not sure if the deputy president will be summoned to appear before the national assembly and if he's summoned i don't think he will uh, bother going probably just his lawyers I also didn't see uh, trump attending his impeachment hearing under the democrats in the american senate so i don't think rigadi will go but his legal representatives will it will leave the national assembly go to the senate amazon kingi will receive it from wetangula table it people will discuss and vote and successfully impeach him and then watch what happens within the next 24 hours just the next 24 hours rigadi the way anongea there is something with this man this impeachment motion rigadi can't win it in the national assembly or the senate it is just the judiciary and it is so shocking how much power the judiciary has and most kenyans don't even understand this uh, power that is in the judiciary and most people don't even seek their dues through the courts miguna miguna at one point he and uh, a couple other people were expelled i think moses kuria was part of the team through jaramogi oginga odinga they got a court order returning them back to class at university of nairobi 
whatever university does you have been expelled you go get a court order you go back to class an employer has fired you you get a court order you go back to work you have been transferred by this boss to another ministry you get a court order you go back to where you are that is the power that the judiciary wields in this country to the point that the other day they were giving the deputy inspector general 6 months in prison <laughs> he even had to appear in court and apologize and that is why Raila Inuru wanted to bring an ombudsman under the BBI because they wanted to curb the powers of the judiciary and it's ironic because i think that's a poison pill that was in the BBI legislation that made it to fail how can the judiciary sit by as their wings are getting clipped under the BBI so they struck it down so long story short this fight goes to the judiciary it starts in the national assembly proceeds to the senate ends in the judiciary and if at all dp rigadi cannot get an overturn of this uh, impeachment from the judiciary then i will seriously wonder because as a politician you must always have leverage you must always have somebody on standby that the day of need when it comes you can call and they will heed your call by the end of the day guys that's just my opinion do let me know your own comments in the comment section below i'll do my best to read them and to give you a response and in the event you're here for the first time please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david wafula hit the subscribe button you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to all right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.